Hello, this is Sandy again, and we have finished our Mickey Magic camera box and are ready to work on our albums that will go inside the box. So we're going to put this aside. In your kit, if you purchase the kit or if you bought your own supplies and just bought the tutorial from me, you will need smooth black cardstock, 12 by 12 cardstock. And you will use 28 sheets of 12 by 12 black cardstock for the four wallet mini albums. Now I have already cut for one of my albums and I will be showing you how to assemble one. They're all done the same with maybe a little variation on the inside which I will explain to you in the tutorial and on the video. But I'm going to completely construct one with you. You will make them all the same. And we're going to start off with, you need to cut your cardstock. You need 11 and a half inch wide by 7 one quarter inches on one piece. That's your first section. Then you're going on your next sections, you're going to need one each 6 and 3 quarters by 7 and 1 quarter. Then on pages uh, sections three and four, you need to cut two each the same, seven and one quarter by seven and one quarter. For sections five and six, you need two the same, cut them seven and a quarter by seven and a half. And your final piece that you will cut will be seven and one eighth by seven one eighth a square, which is for the center back. So I'm gonna stack these all back up and then I'm going to get my scoreboard. I use a Martha Stewart scoreboard and on the first piece and I do recommend that you um, take you some sticky notes and label your, your pieces so that you don't get confused. So take your section one, the eleven and a half by seven and one quarter and when I say in the tutorial to score on your 11 and a half inch side, that means put it in at the top of your scoreboard so that the 11 and a half inch is across the top. Then you're going to score at 7 and 1 quarter and 7 and 3 quarters. That's going to give you this half inch score space right there. So let's put our sticky note back on that and set that one aside. On the next piece, on your six and three quarter inch by seven and quarter inch, you're going to score on your six and three quarter inch side. So put that at the top, six and three quarters at the top. And you're going to score at three fourths of an inch and one and one quarter inch. Again, you have a half inch space there. Next, these will be scored the same. They're seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter inch square. So let's put this in. So it's seven and a quarter either way you put it. And you're going to score just on one side of the seven and one quarter inch. We're not going to rotate or anything. Three and a three quarters inch and one and one quarter. Just like that. Just one, two lines. No more than that. Do the same on your other. Score at three quarters inch and one and one quarter. Again, we have a half inch space between our score lines. We have two seven and one quarters by seven and one half. We're scoring on the seven and one half side. So check your measurements and score at three quarters and one inch. This is a little bit different. We only want a quarter inch gap between the two lines. So I know this is probably hard for you to see in the pictures and on the video. So pay attention to what you're doing. Again, put your seven and a half inch side at the top, 
and then score three quarters of an inch by one inch. Quarter inch space between the two lines. The center back, we do not score at all. Seven and eighth by seven and eighth is your center back. We'll set that aside. Okay, I'm going to put up my scoreboard and then we'll start assembling.